Ladies and gentlemen, Dutch Sense, D-U-T-C-H-S-I-N-S-E, is my go-to guy for earthquakes, and I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord Newthor 7. Dutch has just ended his live stream to get coffee, and so I am filling in the gap. He'll be gone for another half hour. He should be back with another update shortly. But I'm going to try and fill you in on what I have learned. A, there was just another 6.1 magnitude earthquake at Sandpoint, Alaska, in the United States, and this follows the 7.8 earthquake that hit it was only eight miles deep, which is very, very shallow. They say there is no tsunami threat for Hawaii, and they say there is no tsunami threat for California. Dutch has said he would extend his tsunami watch all the way down to Vancouver Island. And so, while analysis continues on the potential threat to Vancouver Island, it is important to note that it should be determined that there is a tsunami threat. It would take in excess of three hours to reach Vancouver Island. Please be patient and stand by, as this is an ongoing story, and this alert was given 46 minutes ago. We did have a almost 4-meter wave height nearest the upper center, but no dark buoys between this one and the Aleutian Archipelago and Hawaii, so be safe. There's no tsunami for Hawaii, but from Alaska and Canada, everybody needs to stay aware, because the buoys are bouncing. So we've got multiple buoys across the ocean down to almost the part of Oregon that are bouncing. Uh, Dutch said a lot of it has to do with the earthquake, but that means that there is some type of a wave or possible tsunami event happening. We have had an 11-foot buoy recorded. Um, this here would put the wave height at... I can't read it. Anyway, we've had up to a four meter one, which would be about 11 feet recorded. So I would highly recommend to everybody from Alaska down to Vancouver Island in Canada to definitely stay fully aware of the story as it develops. I will bring you more information as it comes along. And not only have I had people on the west coast of the United States be on full red alert as your planetary defense commander for the planet parade where you've got all the planets on the same side of the sun called orbital angular momentum and Jupiter and Saturn lining up December 21st. But so we've been full earthquake, volcano, tsunami alert um, for the last few months. And especially with Comet Neowise crossing Earth's orbital plane, I have been mentioning we should be on the lookout for a very large earthquake due to that because the Comet-Sun-Earth interaction is there. I mean, not every scientist have to believe it, Every YouTuber has to believe it, but I pretty much called this down to the the connection date. So, everybody, please stay aware. This is 2020. There is a plague ongoing, and if we have hurricane season coming up, so if you have any type of an evacuation scenario during a pandemic, it is going to create more challenges, and we have enough challenges as it is. So, please, everybody, stay safe, stay cool. I will bring you information, but if you are on the coast in Alaska or Canada down to Vancouver Islands, please take this very seriously and stay aware. Peace out. God bless everyone. Talk to you guys soon.